Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising monthly tarot reading for September 2018 so uh, while I'm shuffling the cards in case you are interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it, which is my website, will be written down below in the description of this video and there is a, a summer, summer end sale which is going on right now and it actually adds a, a 10 minutes to the 30 minute service so you may uh, want to take advantage of that and uh, for the month for the monthly reading here that is going to be a seven card spread and let's go to it straight away let me cut the cards and the first one uh, will represent past circumstances which are going to have an impact upon the month of September for you second card it regards to the month itself or this is going to be the situation of the month then we do have the month's outlook or what you can go for in um, in this month of September should you choose to however this is highly situational card then we do have the best possible approach toward the situation that will be the or that will be the guidance card then the fifth card represents the attitude of the people which are involved into your situations that that card could uh, represent their thoughts that card could represent their attitude towards you or their intentions as well uh, then is the predicaments or the challenges that you have to take on for the duration of the month and the last one will be the final outcome here or um, what will be the result of all that so let's see what you do have guys that will be the queen of um, the queen of cups as a past circumstances which are have an impact upon your month and the impact will regard to some plans you are doing the queen of cups it is regarding uh, it regards to very careful planning for what you have to do uh, forward or um, how uh, that is difficult to explain because it's not my native language but um, how you can approach the situations you are involved in you know regards to something that you have planned so at the end uh, the thing happen in a way that you will feel mostly satisfied from it emotionally satisfied from it when it comes to the queen of uh, to the queen of cups either career or either relationship um, it regards to um, to patience and it regards to as well uh, being uh, being humble with the ongoing undertakings that are going on knowing that uh, at the end you know um, you will end up into the positive side of it or should there is any negative side of it because it's very unlikely the undertaking that regards to the Queen of Cups it is usually uh, almost always you know ending up in a positive way but as I said that card regards to the preparations for it so uh, what you can expect uh, for the duration of the month is that you will stir a plan that you are taking uh, that you are under taking recently and initiate the very first step of, uh, of a project of yours you know or a deed that you want to do uh, let's say that you want to rent a new home and now you are planning for it uh, searching for the best possible deal that you can do well that is something for example that you can initiate this month or you're searching for a job you're planning to apply into a job searching for it etc etc so something that you have my, my point here is that something that you have planned for this until this very moment in the month of September will have the chance to unfold so you will be able to start acting upon this plan now the next card here will represent the topic of the month and that will be the moon card so this is going to be very unstable month from some reason because nothing will be black or white as a matter of fact the moon card itself does not determine is the month is going to be positive or negative but it does determine that you may uh, have trouble to concentrate or to narrow down your efforts toward a single goal or uh, let's say um, toward a productive undertakings because uh, the moon card it is associated with uh, vagueness it is associated with uh, um, a lack of um, 
predictability as well and it's associated with unstable times where everything can happen blah 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 but the the thing with the moon card guys is that uh, one needs to experience this state of let's say insecurity for the lack of better terms so one can organize their life the way they are supposed to the moon card always comes when we are uh, finding ourselves way too overburdened and uh, the, our lives are going very uh, in a very strict direction without having much of a, a forks there to di to di to diverse ourselves and to do something good, for example, for ourselves and to um, to indulge ourselves with the things we like. So when the moon ca comes, um, it does gives a, a prerequisite for. Uh, feeling unstable, you know, feeling insecure, um, having lack of clamor into one's future, but as well gives a prerequisite to dream big, you know, and to realize that actually our um, our dreams are not without, uh, are not outside of our grasp. And what we need to do is to be a little bit more systematic because the moon card thrives when the person is frantic and when the person is daydreamy and when the person is, um, is kind of like detached from the reality. But when the person that the moon card affects, it's, um, it's quite logical when the person uh, sticks to uh, what they know to be true you know rather than to uh, rather than to some fallacies here when the person is um, is highly strict with their plans etc etc then the moon card allows that person to combine their knowledge with their imagination and um, <clears throat> with their intelligence as well so that person can uh, obtain a, a huge insight upon what they can achieve so this month here i think is a, a month of realization how big your dreams are and which of your dreams libras can be achieved let's say for the duration of the year because <clears throat> uh, obviously if you do have a, a very brave dream it could be achieved, you know, but it may take some time. What we're talking about here is about the month itself. So um, if you have a little bit of a drop of faith here, if you feel yourself despondent in a certain stain, don't you worry. This is just the effect of the moon card stripping you off a little bit of a hope that you will be able to... Um, to reach a certain destination you have established for yourself but that particular state usually goes uh, wears off quite quickly you know because the moon itself is very unstable car so what additionally you can go for here uh, in this month that will be the Emperor so you can totally counter the moon card as, uh, as I said until this very moment so without even looking at the Emperor card I already covered it up just from the moon where you establish control you you kind of like uh, uh, keep strict your plans and uh, your to-go list as well take on responsibilities upon your deeds so when you say that you're going to do something you do it without thinking way too much about it the emperor card also points to um, flawless performance in some way so try to be the best and don't overlook minor details whatever you do you know just don't give yourself away to the vagueness uh, because the vagueness is also leaving the situation to uh, resolve itself on its own accord rather than to try to control it the way that you do can so you can't control your situations here it's just is going to take an extra effort and is going to help as well you know establishing that plan and even make some um further steps toward it even if you are not gonna feel much uh, much like it at this month because the moon card will uh, incorporate a as I said sense of insecurity that you will be able to pull it through so this is uh, this month um, will be rather tough Libras but not that tough that you may that, that you kind of like will lose a sense of having the knack for life it's just you have to be you know a little bit more organized than you are at this very moment and you are liberal I don't know what I'm talking about I mean you should you are supposed to be organized so maybe you have to be extremely organized for the duration of the month so how is the best way to cope with the moon card here nine of swords points that you have to face your fears 
excellent card that we do have. Uh, let's say it that way. Uh, this card represents uh, what the one is the most afraid of and uh, what will be the consequences of it. So in order to face your fears here, either being uh, left broken into one relationship, you know, or to be uh, fired from your job because the moon card could express that as well. These couple of cards, they do have a very similar um, symptoms, all right? one is afraid from what may come because the predictability as i said will be jeopardized and you can't count on that you will be able to predictable to predict the outcome of certain events so uh, facing your fears will include having a backbone very strong backbone and if, for example if you are afraid that um you will be fired, you know, uh, as soon as you start, uh, uh, as soon as that fear start dwelling within you, maybe you should talk to your boss. Same goes for your relationship, you know, if you are afraid that you uh, will be left alone here, if you are afraid that your uh, girlfriend or your boyfriend will walk away from it, they are going to broke up with you, well, maybe you have to talk with them as well. The thing with the Nine of Swords here, it is about realizing that if you... Uh, don't speak about it, you know, and you pretend that nothing is happened. Things aren't going to save uh, to to solve themselves on their own here. I mean, something has to be done, and yeah, it may it may kind of like you know uh, petrifies you to do so, but otherwise it will be always in a negative outlook at the end. So uh, it is well, what I'm trying to say here is is the best thing to do this month to do is to do something about it and what I like to say in these situations is, is that if you don't attend into the thing the thing will ruin if you don't ask for something that you want the answer always will be no so you have to find the strength within you you know to ask for what you want and to talk for what you are afraid of as well so how the people will take you in this month we do have the king of um, wants into that particular position uh, but to be honest this card is a little bit off for what it seems because the king of wands um, it's about a, a very high opinion people will have a little bit uh, a very high opinion but as well high expectations from you and that may make you uh, more nervous than usual so that additionally contributes to the state of insecurity so as i said let's let's give, continue the example of uh, being fired a job you know that you may be afraid of being fired a job kind of understandable because then this card will stay for your boss here always placing you higher and higher um uh challenges in front of yourself or in front of you or higher and higher expectations and you may think that they are start searching for an excuse you know to get rid of you so this card as well however uh, affects people which uh, will always maintain will try at least to maintain your positive uh, attitude and your positive outlook for the future and in general for the attitude for the undertakings that you are attending to having the king of wands as a uh, people's um, standpoint which are involved into your situations, points that their people are counting on you and they are expecting a lot of uh, a lot from you. But you need to know that that expectation doesn't have to be fulfilled in this very month. As a matter of fact, in this very month, how you can reassure them is by showing them that even if the month is not very is not the best month you have, that does not mean that you will. Um, kind of like that you will slack and that you will give yourself to the, 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 the feeling of despondency here. So it's a very important for you Libras to keep your cool for the duration of the month in front of your boss and in front of your partner into your relationship, you know, or person of interest, etc, etc. So kind of like you have to be very, very strong here emotionally is what I'm talking about. Uh, then we do have the challenges that you have to overcome here. That will be the Eight of Pentacles 
tightly connected with the Queen of Cups. Challenging will be to initiate the plan, but not impossible. You know, it's just it's gonna go, it's going to take an extra effort here. And if we're talking in a much broader scheme regarding this card, it does speak that you will find it very challenging to open yourself for newness, because this card points that you will be um, a way you will overthink yourself should I say that way regarding the minor details in your work trying to perfectionalize everything that you do and it's something that you need to do uh, so this card here says that the only challenge you are going to face here is finding time so you, you will kind of like start from finding time for yourself, you know, for your additional uh, enterprises like hobbies, you know, like having time to rest uh, and like, uh, for example, having time, you know, to indulge yourself with friends and family and etc, etc. But uh, from, uh, from another hand, the uh, Eight of Pentacles points that you may have time, uh, you may have a, a problem or rather like a a challenge you may have that challenge to um, be open-minded and to try approach the situation from a different angle here because this card points that maybe uh, you will have to rethink your strategy you know because um, in this month Libras you rather have to work more smart than hard while the hard work will be uh, while if you work smart again you will have to you will not have much of a time which means that even then the hard work will be quite a lot so for while it seems you will be quite overburdened here in your relationship in your career it could be that because you are afraid into your relationship that you will be left alone you know that your partner is going to uh, leave you you may um, start you know satisfy their needs more attending to their needs not but and completely neglecting your personal needs etc etc so you have to be um, kind of like very devoted to to what you truly want to stabilize and accomplish and how this all is going to wrap up here well at the end you will be left with a great relief that the month finally passed and now the sense of security the sense of uh, not exactly dominions but the sense of success the sense of uh, of the what you do truly works out will come back to you again having the six of wands uh, will make you realize here that at the end of the month you have experienced a month which gave you a very valuable lesson so this month is going to be as well like a, a milestone here that you will um, <clears throat> that you will have to reach and is going to give you a, a huge experience how to cope with insecurity how to deal with it especially with your fears as we talked about how to deal with your fears and in generally will make you much more compatible person talking about career and much more liked person talking about relationship so should you have any problems with the trust into your relationship this month by you dealing with yourself and with your personal fears not allowing them to interfere with your relationship will regain back the trust in you from your partner for example same goes for your relationship what i'm trying to, uh, for your career excuse me what i'm trying to say here is is that at the end you will be very proud with the work you have done dealing with that insecurity for the duration of the month regarding the career and regarding the relationship and on top of that you will receive rewards for it a a a, a, a collidations for example you know or in generally people will uh, try to help you further into the future to deal with the same kind of uh, insecurities should you face any and on the top of that linking it with the queen of cups here it does look like that as well you will be able to sustain the plan that you have tried to initiate and should you initiate it for the duration of the month then it does look like that plan as well will have some partial success with a potential to be entirely successful further into the future so that being said Libros this was your monthly tarot reading for September 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me again everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video 
Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.